Hi guys and welcome to Marissa's Kitchen. Today we are going to try a new Christmas recipe that I had recently and I loved and I really wanted to share with you guys. If you haven't made any peppermint bark this Christmas, then you definitely need to try this recipe. It is probably in my top two favorite <laughs> THM treats. The Kit Kat recipe that I just did a video on and I will link to that above is by this same person. So Molly Miller from Molly Miller Wellness. She is a THM coach. She was the one who uh, made the Kit Kat recipe and she's also made this peppermint bark recipe. And I have to tell you, it is outstanding. So it is basically just four ingredients. You need a bag of Lily's chocolate chips. You can use semi-sweet or you could use dark. She mentions using semi-sweet. A bag of Lily's peppermint chips. You need some wasa, not very many of these. So if you've got a bag of these that is going stale in your pantry, pull that out. And a little tiny bit of coconut oil. Like this jar is like ginormous compared to, I think I need four teaspoons total. So I'm going ahead and switch the view so I can show you me making this. And I just have to tell you, you need to get this stuff because I mean, four ingredients and oh, five if you, if you do get some sugar-free peppermints, these are not... Um, on plan with from Healthy Mama because it, the sweeteners wouldn't be perfectly correct and whatnot. They'd be more of like a personal choice. But I happen, my husband happened to have one sugar-free peppermint in his car, and I decided to snag it for this recipe. So it says to have like six or eight, and I'm just gonna put it on one little part of it. That way, some of it is you know personal choice, and the rest is well. Actually, I think. I think Pearl and Serene recently changed Lily's Chocolate to certain ones of Lily's Chocolate that have um, dextrin, our personal choice. So this isn't like completely on plan with THM, but you could also get white chocolate chips and add some peppermint extract is another thing that Molly says. Also, I just wanted to add what makes this unique as a peppermint bark um, is that it's got a crunch to it because of the wasa. So that is just something a little bit different. If you've followed my channel, you know that I love crunchy stuff. So this was like right up my alley. And I thought when I, the first time I had it, I was like, I have to share this with my channel, with my viewers, because it was just like so incredible. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this up and show you it. And um, let's get started. Really quick side little techie thing. My friend Allison got me this little handy dandy thing <laughs> that I can attach to my cupboards so that I can hang my phone over what I'm making so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I have my wasa in my blender and I am gonna go ahead and blend this up. I'm using up what I had left. I had about seven ounces of that, and you need eight. So not even a full bag of chocolate chips. You can have the one ounce to snack on or half or something else. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in my microwave, and my microwave has a chocolate button, but I'm gonna go ahead and carefully melt this. I forgot to add the coconut oil, so I took this out of the microwave and before it had melted much, and I'm putting the coconut oil in now. I'm using a refined one that does not taste like coconut. Okay, so I took my pan out of the freezer. It looks kind of solid around the edges, maybe a little not quite completely solid in the middle, but that's okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the white chocolate mixture with the little bit of coconut oil mixed in on top. Okay, one thing I do is before, I had this in the freezer and before it gets too frozen, I am gonna go ahead and cut it so that later on when it's harder, it's not harder to cut. So otherwise it'll kind of just break apart. If you want it to cut neatly, you can cut it 
before it completely solidifies. This is what happens if you don't wait for your top layer to solidify all the way. It kind of mixed with my top layer and has like a little marbled effect, but it's not very pretty. Okay, it's taste test time. If I can get my phone to hold correctly. Mmm. Guys, you gotta make this. You gotta make this. So I made these. I'm going to make Coach Becky's Oreo balls. <laughs> I call them truffles, but I made truffles with my son this Christmas and he wanted to give them to all his teachers, coaches, and friends. And it made me really want some Oreo truffles. So I used to make them when we lived in Bush, Alaska at bazaars. I would make up little fancy gift boxes of them and sell them. So, so I am like serious about my Oreo truffles. So I'm going to try Coach Becky's Oreo balls. I'm going to make Glenda Groff sourdough uh, cinnamon rolls. And I'm going to make the same brunch and dinner, Christmas dinner that I did a year ago. So I will link to a video where I put what I ate last year on Christmas. But I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for making this past year video making so much fun. I really appreciate and love you guys. <laughs>